Merthyr Tydfil, home to many a boxing great. Howard Winstone wanted to be a world champion. His sparring partner throughout was his childhood friend, Don James. Winstone was a natural and he was the best of the bunch. And as a schoolboy, his first year, he won a Welsh schoolboy title. Then second year, he won the Welsh and he went to the finals of the British. In the third year, he won the British, you know, and uh, he was talented in the making. Like. Winstone's success came despite an accident, which meant he lost the tips of three fingers on his right hand working in a toy factory as a teenager. His style had to adapt if he was to succeed. His father put a big bag of dirt up on his grandfather, right? And I would, it was on that for months. Shoom, left down, left down, left down, left down. And um, I wandered through there one day and I'd just been picked for Wales. I was boxing for Wales, won a few Welsh titles, so um, I thought I was cock of the walk, like, you know, and uh, his old man said to me, how long do that hurt? So Mr. Winston, I said, he'd been out a long time, like, you know, 18 months, and I said, no, no, I just have around him, he said. And um, I moved towards that word, and he wasn't there. He had moved, the next thing I knew was a left jab in my face, you know, right? Then a double left jab, then another left jab. And the more I was going forward, the more I was eating him. So I, I had to alter my tactics and so on and so on. And at the end, with the old man, I would say, what do you think, Don? I said, he's ready, Mr. Winston. And that's where I think the left arm was born. Celebrity status came to Winstone in Cardiff with victory as an amateur at the Empire Games. A gold medal and the professional game was calling. If you walked to the Howard down the street of Mercer and you wanted to get somewhere at 12 o'clock, you had to start off at 10. Because children would stop him, teenage girls would stop him, old ladies would stop him, boxing fans would stop him. You know, you see him, oh, come on, I was, you know, but he was that way late. Winston was taught his trade by another Welsh boxing great, Eddie Thomas, himself a former British and European champion. In 1965, his young charge lost the first world title fight against Mexico's Vicente Saldivar at London's Earl's Court. Two years later, a rematch at Ninian Park. Home crowd advantage. What a finish to this fight. championship fight and Saldiva is the winner and Saldiva has retained his world championship on points over 15 rounds. How did you put up the fight of your life tonight? Thank you. I think you fought a lot better this time than you did the first time against him. Oh I trained hard for this one, he felt real good. But I think in the fight itself you fought so much better I felt, you were sharper. Well we saw we all thought we'd won it like, you know. That's where he was. You felt yourself you'd won it? Oh, yeah. I didn't have fairly honestly to won it easy. That would have made a, such a difference to Howard's life. If he had, people don't realise, if he had had the verdict and I'd been champion of the world, like, you know, victory over Savada, because uh, he, he said to many people, ah, it's all right, like Howard was, the nice guy, uh, I don't, it, it doesn't bother me, you know, and so on, so it did bother him. I knew it, it did bother him. When he was on his own and we were on our own, He'd say, why, Don, why, why didn't they have the verdict that night? The trilogy of fights with Saldivar was complete in Mexico City. It saw a third defeat for Merthyr's finest, further inspiration for the Welshman. Saldivar then retired and Winston fought Mitsunuri Seki of Japan for the now vacant title. They were evenly matched. Both men had lost to the Mexican, and for the first two rounds, there was little to choose between them. The third swung the fight towards Seki. His left eyebrow looking just a little red. Winston using his right hand as much as he's using his left in this fight to overcome the southpaw stance of the Japanese. And I think Seki may be cut in this round. I think he may be cut on the right eye. There's a suspicion of blood there. And it's Winston, in fact, who's cut. It's Winston's left eye that is bleeding. 
There was a little blood around and I couldn't see where it came from, but now it's very plain and it's the Welshman who's cut on the left eyebrow. And this is a bad setback for Winston because if anybody was going to get cut early on, we thought it would be the Japanese. So Winston at the end of the third must go back for repairs to the left eye. It's not too serious, but it's over the eye, and that's not a good place for a cut to be. And Eddie Thomas, his manager now, goes to work. And there must be some consternation now in that Welsh corner, because this is not the way things were expected to go. Beautiful left-handed. Seki walked right onto it. This is easily the best round Winston has had so far. Beautiful right underneath, and Winston is right on top in the fifth. And Saki is taking a lot of punishment in this round. He's taken almost everything that Winston has thrown at him. The little Japanese suddenly no longer looks so fast or so strong. The tide suddenly has turned right round and it's in Winston's favour. And that was a very good round for Winston. There's the ex-champion. What an interesting fight this is between these two little men, both of whom couldn't find the strength or quite enough skill with which to beat Saldivar. But now the title is here for the taking, and one of them is going out of this ring. Tonight, the champion, the new champion. There's no doubt who's the master inside, it's Winston. He's consistently been better inside all the way through this fight. He ties up Seki beautifully inside and frequently scores and for a moment I thought Seki had trouble with his right eye. He has got trouble with his right eye. He brushed away the blood and Seki now is cut on the right eye. And Roland Dakin's going to have a look at that right eye. He's having a good close look at it. It's right up underneath the eyebrow, and he's going to stop it, I think. I think Roland Dakin's going to stop it. He's asking the corner to look at it. And the Welsh have taken it for granted, and it's over, and it is over. It's over in the ninth round, and Seki, moments after he was cut, has been stopped, and Winston is champion of the world at last, and is the first Welsh world champion for 45 years and you won't stop the Welsh invading this ring now. I was up in the fifth tier and I dropped on everyone to the floor and, and I got in the ring and Mickey Duff was screaming, get these Welsh people out here, not in such kind words. And uh, yeah, they, yeah, they had no chance and I was so uh, thrilled and, and glad for our that at last he'd got it to his goal and won the world title. Tell us how you feel at this moment. Ah, oh, terrific. Terrific. I wanted, my boys, yeah. last, eh? I wanted my boys here, yeah, I wanted my boys here, I told my father, my father started me off and I said I'd win it and out of all my troubles, I've stuck to my word and I've done it, uh -huh. and I'm proud. Since I think to myself, what a wonderful 